Honda launched the new 2025 XR300L Tornado in Brazil, a 300cc trail motorcycle, which revives the name that was a success there in the 2000s. Despite being very similar and having the same proposal as the CRF300L, sold in Europe and the USA, it is based on the Sahara 300, a 300cc on-off-road adventure motorcycle existing in the brand's lineup in Brazil. As the Sahara 300 is more focused on short adventure trips using asphalt and dirt roads, the XR300L Tornado follows a different path, being completely focused on off-road. In time, the new XR300L Tornado does not have the chassis or engine of the CRF300L. As we said, it is based on the Sahara 300, bringing this model's chassis and engine. We only mention the CRF300L for its aesthetic similarity and purpose. To have all this off-road capability, it has fewer fairings than its sister Sahara 300, a more compact upper body, a narrow rally-style seat, and a raised front fender. With this, it is expected to be a little lighter. Just by looking at it, you can see that the Honda XR300L Tornado will share the same base as the new XRE300 Sahara. What changes in the Honda XR300L Tornado? To keep you up to date with the changes to the Honda XR300L Tornado, we have listed each of the topics below. Check it out. Bigger engine. First of all, the most obvious point is that the Tornado stops being a 250 and becomes a 300. This means that the old 249cm engine, which generated 23-point kerp and 2.42 kilom, will be replaced by a 293.5cm engine, more powerful and stronger, reaching up to 25.2 kerp and 2.74 from with ethanol. Longer suspension. In addition to the more powerful engine, the new Honda XR300L Tornado should also feature longer forks than the old 250 and even the 300 Sahara. In this context, the Tornado 250 has 220 mm of travel in the front suspension and 242 mm in the rear. On the other hand, the 300 Sahara has a slight advantage in the front with 221 mm but lags behind in the rear with 225 mm. Even without the complete technical specifications of the new Tornado, when comparing the two new 300s, you can see that the XR300L has longer forks. Therefore, the new Honda is expected to stand out in this aspect. In addition, the accordions are an important differentiator. Honda XR300L Tornado has a change in minimum ground clearance. Of course, the minimum ground clearance depends on the bike's overall setup. However, considering the new Tornado shares many components with the Honda XRE300 Sahara, it should have at least 269 mm from the lowest part of the engine to the ground. The old Tornado 250 ranged from 269 mm with the low seat option to 281 mm with the raised seat. New brakes. An expected improvement in the Honda XR300L Tornado are the brakes following market trends. As it is based on the Sahara 300, the engine is the same, that is a 293.5 cm through single cylinder with air and oil cooling, capable of generating up to 25.2 hubs of maximum power and 27 nanometers of torque with ethanol. In Brazil, most motorcycles and cars are flex fuel, that is, they can run on ethanol or gasoline in any proportion. 